Behind me is Britain's newest station, Portway Park and Ride. In this vlog, I'm going to show you guys around. Right, hello everybody, me sounds Ross Trains and more here about another vlog. Today we're going to be visiting the newest station in Britain, Portway Park and Ride. So this station actually opened 10 days ago on the uh, 1st of August 2023 and we're going to go and visit it now, or I say now, we're just waiting for the train, it's in half an hour we are to take us to uh, Portway Park and Ride and we're going to spend about another half an hour there exploring the station and then we're going to continue on and I'll show you about you guys found Portway Park and Ride, the newest station in Britain. I'm just a uh, Clifton Down station now waiting for the train. Right, here comes my ride over to Portway Park and Ride. It's only about a minute or two late. Oh, how about you show showed the uh, train. We're we getting on 166219. Right, Shearhampton and Portway Park and Ride are extremely close, so I'm actually going to time her on the stopwatch to uh, see how long it takes. It's a fair from the door. We'll let you have the announcement playing. Right, so we've made it to Portway Park and Ride, Great Western Railway run. It's got just the one platform. And then, uh, here for about 26 minutes. But whilst we're, we're going to show you around the, uh, the station here, Portway Park and Ride. This is the newest station in Britain. It opened 10 days ago. And it will actually hold that title for a bit longer than Fanic Parkway. Fanic Parkway was the, uh, newest station in Britain for 24 hours until this one opened on the 1st of August. Not sure what the next one is now going to be. My guess is it's maybe Head Bolt Lane up in Mersey uh, side, but absolutely no idea what the next new station in Britain is because there's a few that are opening over the next couple of years, including a few near me, but they're not going to be open probably until 2025. Anyway, so let's show you guys around uh, the station already. I've got We've got some ginormous blooming road down there I'm not, I'm not sure what motorway or a road that is i'll put on the screen when i find out the information it's obviously a it's obviously a park and ride station this as and unlike stations like worcestershire parkway this station doesn't have portaway parkway in it it's actually called portaway park and ride mainly because there actually was a park and ride here before but it's for the damn buses only since 2002 but they added the train 21 years later in 2023 Almost the same age as me. Uh, so yeah, let's show you guys around Portway Park and Ride uh, Station and show you some of the, the facilities. They are quite basic, I must admit. Compared to when I did Reading Green Park, there's not much here. But what there is here is a big car park and obviously a bus interchange, which I'll show you guys. Well, here comes 166205. Right, not sure if I mentioned, but between here and Shearhampton, it's just one minute and 25 seconds on the train because I did actually uh, put on the stopwatch on my phone to see how long it took. All right, let's give you the tour of Portway Park and Ride then. First of all is the big car park, which apparently does have 830 spaces, if I remember rightly. I think that's right. I'm probably going to be completely wrong now, aren't I? Someone's going to correct me in the comments. We've got a drop-off area, a pick-up area, disabled parking. And also there's bike storage down there as well. I'll show you that in a bit more detail in a minute. And then uh, we have got the onward travel information. We do on that board. And then that's just a big warning saying that you need to buy a ticket otherwise you'll be fined hundred pounds. And then uh, I actually am gonna buy a ticket from this station. I am actually on a day ranger, but I'm gonna actually buy a ticket to add to the stats. That's just helpful information. 
and then this is one of the two entrances there's one on the other side as well we've got a display board and my train to Avon Ralph is in 17 minutes so I actually better hurry up and do this vlogging uh, it's at 11 36 my train there the train times as well and then rail placement buses apparently stop in the car park in fact there's one of the damn buses yeah filthy damn buses uh, let's actually show you guys around the station then because we don't actually have very long thanks to that few minutes delay and that great western railway service right so bins are not actually blown in the uh, breeze we got one for recycle one for general waste a smart card reader which actually does work another one over there too and then uh ticket machine i'll get to the ticket machine in a minute but you can't buy a It's a bit, bit, it's a bit dodgy ticket machine anyway. You can't buy Rovers of Rages from that. They should keep ticket offices though, because look, for anything else, please buy online or speak to a member of staff. That's what I did at Bristol Temple Meads. Safe ticket offices. We've got a waiting shelter down there. And also, I believe there's a help point somewhere as well. I'll find that in a second. I think the help point's up here. Random posters. That's the Grand Pier in Western Zoo from there, actually. I've actually made a vlog on that pier. I'll link it in the uh, corner of the screen. And then uh, benches. I like how there's not just uh, waiting shelters, and there is benches as well, which is uh, good. And then that is the uh, dot matrix board. And then that is the help point, both for information in emergencies. I don't know what happened to my accent then. More random posters. You can fit a six car train on these platforms. If the units that's come down here are only two or three carriages in the lamps. Another bench. And then just down here, I believe it's just another shelter. And, if, and there's actually people, a fair few people using this station. I did actually see a few passengers. More compared to Reading Green Park. More bins over here. And then this is the... Uh, other way out it is and i believe this brings you up to the uh cycle storage yeah cycle storage just down there and then i'm now going to show you guys where the actual bus interchange is before i catch my train onwards so what would I actually rate portway park and ride out of 10 i'm going to give it a uh i'm going to give it a 8 out of 10 First impressions, pretty good station, and it looks like it's going to be well used for both connections into Bristol and towards Seven Beach, Avonmouth, and also you can get trains towards Western Supermare from here as well. Right, this is a closer look at the bus interchange. This isn't new, this was actually opened in 2002, and it is the number nine bus that serves Portway Park and Ride. It is. And that's the line we're travelling on today, as indicated on that poster. Opened in 2022. I think they need to change that. It opened in 2023. I think it was late. Like, I'm 10 days late to the opening. But that's because I had family stuff and on the day that I uh, it opened up. Right, this isn't actually part of the station, but I thought I'd show you guys this. this there's actually um, public toilets here at uh, Portway Park and Ride, down near the uh, bus interchange. I'm not sure how many there is. I'm not sure if there's one or two toilets, but they're just got, like little like bog standard shed type port uh, portable toilet. They're not portable. I think they're built in, but there's public toilets here, which is uh, handy to know. Down by the bus interchange. Randomly, there's also a post box here at Portway Park and Ride Station. Right, the train's in just over five minutes, so I best actually get a on back to the train station because I don't want to miss it. Because I'm actually, I say on a tight schedule today, I kind of am on a tight schedule because I want to do some other things as well as doing Portway Park and Ride whilst I'm in the uh, Bristol area because Bristol is a bit of a trek to get down to from where I live and also expensive on the train. 50 blooming pounds and that's with split ticketing at Chatham Spa. Right, managed to purchase a souvenir in the form of a single to Avon Mouth from here at Portway Park and Ride. 95p with the bell card. What a bargain. 
£1.50 without the veil card for a single. Not sure how much the return is, but I've got a day ranger, so I'm not using this ticket. It's purely for a souvenir. Right, so I'm going to end this vlog here off Portway Park and Ride. Trains in about two minutes. And then I'll do a closing shot of me leaving Portway Park and Ride station. So I do hope you enjoyed it. She's just going to click out on and talk to me. If you want to become a member of the channel, you can do it. It's really a minute late. Typical. Uh, you can do There's a join button down there. Uh, prices start at 199 like the video May I have she's still at it things? comment down below so it would be appreciated and if you're not yet subscribed consider subscribing because it's free and have the bell for all notifications so you don't miss any future videos or live streams right take care everybody bye all guys peace out that's 165 218 again